Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, I wanted to um, take this time and just to reach out to many of you that um, see me on a regular basis and explain to you some things. First of all, I did tell you guys that 2019 was going to be a year of exposure. And it was exactly that for me. Uh, thank God for the things that he's exposed to me. First of all, Truvine, I'm not there because I've been banned from coming to your church. We'll talk about that over in the new year. But um, I actually had a back problem for the first six months of the year. And uh, it was really hard because I refused to take the opioids that the doctors were prescribing for me. And I thank God that I didn't because uh, anybody who really knows me, they know that I have an addictive behavior. Um, I, <laughs> the things that make me feel good, uh, I do. And uh, what really makes me feel good is doing stuff for other people. And that's what I do year round. Um, I had the back procedure done and there was a needle stuck in my neck and there was contamination that caused... Um, a disease in my bone. And uh, so, thank God uh, I listened to the spirit because there was something totally wrong with the way I was feeling the day after the uh, procedure. And um, I knew something was wrong, so I demanded that the doctor um, immediately have another MRI done on me. And uh, he did. So after the MRI, about 15 minutes after, my phone rang from the doctor and I thought it was just him trying to remind me to get to the MRI appointment because it was on a Saturday. And um, he was actually calling me to tell me to report back to the hospital immediately because uh, they noticed something in the uh, MRI films and uh, the doctors would be waiting for me. So I turned my car around and I went right back to the hospital. I was isolated for a period of seven days while, while experts came in to try to figure out what was really going on. And what they did spot was where the injection hit, there was contamination and it uh, caused an infection in my bone. So that was gonna take six weeks of hospitalization to do, which makes it very difficult for me to do what I do on a regular basis. So I prayed and I said, God, I can't, this can't be what's going on, but it was. And so the wonderful thing about it is that I was so healthy that I was able to come home uh, to have the six weeks of infusions of three very strong antibiotics. That's, this is what I'm doing right now, you guys. Um, that I have to inject into my body every single day. There is a 52 inch pick line that goes from my arm to right above my heart for the medicine to get directly to where it should go. So, uh, thank God for the East Bay Community Law Center and teaching me how to advocate for myself. I was able to get them to agree to send me home. I went through a very intense training about how to sanitize and clean and do the things necessary to go through this at home. I want to thank you, JT, for being my nurse and being such a sweetheart and making sure that this has been as easy as any way possible. Um, and uh, I will say this to you guys. I am as happy as I've ever been in my life. I am so grateful to God for the call of my life to be in service to other people. And what it does when you actually commit to that kind of stuff, it becomes a target on your back. People can be very mean. Um, they are uh, always available for the things that you can do for them. And then once you have to put a break on it because service needs to go to somebody else or whatever the reasons are, they tend to change. I want to encourage you that God loves you so much. He loves you so much. 
And uh, you don't need to be in a church to have a real relationship with God. And remember, the relationship with God is just that, a relationship with God. It's not a community project, so get people out of your business. And um, be grateful. I'm grateful. This is the holiday season, very difficult season. As soon as I said that, a church that I was in service to for many, many years served me a notice and said, I cannot come back there. And uh, I want to warn you guys, 2020 will be the year of perfect vision. You will be able to see the things that you're supposed to be involved in and the people you're supposed to be involved with. And it'll be very clear after 2019 being a year of exposure. So they expose yourselves before the end of the year. And I'm grateful to that. <sighs> I wanted to show you guys... Uh, a little bit of what I do every morning. I get up and I begin to pray and I read the word. Um, I begin to bless God and say thank you for all that he's done for me. He's been so good to me. And um, I wanna share that with you. I want you to be encouraged in 2020. Never forget that God loves you. He created you. You are an image of God. You look like him. You act like him. You talk like him. And um, he loves you. There's nothing you can do for God not to love you. So um, I get up and I listen to, and I get encouraged by uh, some great people that I've had an opportunity to be mentored by. So I'm not going to say too much more. I just want you to listen to something that lifted me out of a dark place really just recently. And I hope it does the same for you. Not because we were so wonderful, but because God is so gracious. And we're alive tonight. And I just want to share just a course of a song. Would you indulge me for just a minute? Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases, people are slipping away. The economy's down. Can't get enough pain. But as for me, I said, as for me, If you're hurting, um, go to God, lift your head up, be encouraged, and let 2020 be a year of perfect vision. That's not how I feel. There are folks without homes. Living out in the streets and the drug habits. I've got a good friend. Some folks just can't beat. There are muggers and robbers. 
My Christmas gift will be, um, I don't have to do this anymore. The praise report is that the nurse showed up on yesterday to say, there is no trace of infection anymore. But you got five more days to do it. And so, I just want to thank God for being God. So, happy holidays, everybody. I'm done. And go out and spend the day with some beautiful people. Yeah. But you guys stay encouraged. Remember to love on each other. You have no idea what someone else is going through. Hmm. Hmm.